Hey guys, Dante here. Time for another video. Hey guys, so it's been uh, three, four, was it three? Four. <laughs> Anyways, it's been an um, ample amount of weeks since I started the Paludarium, and it's been doing really well. Actually, I just noticed that the, the pothos have finally taken to the, to the Paludarium. And well, they've started growing new leaves. I'm so excited. This means they'll start growing like crazy. Usually when my pothos starts growing their first leaf, they really take off. Wanna see? Check it out. Look, um, hang on, let me see if I can get a better idea. See? See that right there? See how it's curving out? That's a new leaf growing. Uh, I was so worried these guys wouldn't take after I did the propagation. Or, no, I didn't propagate these ones. I um, transplanted them. Yes, that was the word. I transplanted them. And I was so worried they wouldn't take. But now they are. Ooh, I can't wait. I've been really hoping for this one to start growing and move towards the water. You know, have a little pothos um, filtering action in here. Because if you didn't know, some aquarists use pothos in their tanks to eradicate nitrite because they're such a big consumer of it. So that is super awesome. Also, do you remember last week when I mentioned I put isopods in the tank but couldn't find any? Well, I just spotted one. Uh, there he is. Now, I'm not sure if that's a woodlouse or another type of isopod. There are like tons of species around my, around my home. So it's often confusing on which ones they are. Um, dang. There we go. Uh, isn't he pretty? It looks like he found a small patch of mold in Milan. Good job, Isopod. You are doing your job well. Anyways, I, last week, I don't think I mentioned this, or maybe I did. I can't recall. But, if I didn't, here it is. I added five new isopods from my compost pile and back to the terrarium. So I have like a colony of nine. Hopefully these guys will all start to, to breed and make this place their, their domain. <laughs> say, say, um, yeah. For right now, I just have isopods and the microfauna that live inside the soil. And for now, that's good for me. I'm hoping in like, in the upcoming week or two weeks that I finally get something that isn't an arth arthropod in here. By the way, I've decided to go with a fire belly new for the water half of the terrarium, paludarium. And look, I've, it, I've put some new, put some new java fern in here. I don't know if they'll take to this cold water. So I'm considering these guys a bit of an experiment. Um, so yeah, I'm glad everything's taking well, especially the pothos, which is weird because which is kind of odd because they haven't been taking all that well in the last weeks. It's probably because it's been really, really hot the past few days. Like, humidity is off the charts. I mean, look at this. Um, here's my humidifier. Not humidifier. Humidity gauge and thermometer set. 
Zoom men, baby. Really good brand. Anyways, you can see that humidity in the tank alone is almost 70%. And these, and Pothos. Uh, by the way, check it out. See that nut? See that little bump? That's another leaf coming out. Yay! Both of them are taking to the tank. Anyways, um, Pothos tend to like direct or indirect light and high humidity. They're a tropical plant after all. Coming from Southeast Asia, I believe. So this type of this type of environment is perfect for them. So hopefully in the upcoming days they will start growing more and more leaves. By the way, I forgot to get it the other day, but my um My wandering Jew plant flower to get again. I keep missing it. I really want you guys to see it in its full bloom. All you get is these old dying ones. And I'm sorry for that. I have really noticed I apologize a lot on this channel. I do not mean to do that. I just, it's, it's just a reflex. I tend to apologize a lot in my family. Probably because I think I'm always at fault for something, even when I'm not. Anywho's, um, what else has been going on in the tank? Um, well, this. There we go. You guys see that white gunk on it? On this, um, driftwood? You can actually see it all over. That is biofilm. And a lot of it. Normally, it's complete. At first, I thought it was mold, but no, that's all biofilm. So I need to get rid of that somehow. Obviously, it's not a big issue. It's just a natural part of the tank. They like the 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 stuff in the water. The bacteria and stuff like to feed on the wood, and then they colonize, and then they make this gunk. As their colonies expand it's not harmful but it is unsightly I need to know how to get rid of this anyone have any suggestions on a fish a really small fish that likes to feed on biofilm I'm considering shrimp I do have the high pH for it since my whole tank is covered in clay Thanks to the Hydro Balls. But I'm not sure. I mean, I might. I could just add them to other parts of the tank. And if I add the Newts, I don't know how they would react. Actually, do Newts eat shrimp? Note to self, look that up. Anyways, yeah, I have this biofilm going on. The pothos are growing new leaves. Oh, the wandering Jew are growing and rooting like crazy. You can see the white streak that's going through the soil. That is roots from the wandering Jew plant. Like they are everywhere. Look, you can even see it growing past the soil into the into the barrier layer of the mesh. Like these guys do not fool around. They grow everywhere. Which is great actually because um they're taking all the moisture out of the substrate. So I don't have to worry about mold all that much now. But yeah. All my plants have fully taken to the tank. And I'm so glad. And um that's it for the update. What do you guys think? The Paludarium has really come into its own since I set up three to four weeks ago. Again, I cannot remember. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll have another update hopefully next week. And um, yeah. Oh, if any of you are watching my Mermaid episodes, 
just know this week's is going to be a bit delayed because I'm behind on on certain designs so I may have so expect the video to be up either mid midweek next week or just at the end of the week with the rest of the mermaid with the ah brain fart um along with the final episode of mermaid so yeah that is truly it guys thank you for tuning in don't forget to hit the bell icon on your way out don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!